just like with all forms of discrimination, you have two types, at least two types. You know? Racists, sexists, and speciesists. In the first place, they look the same, but if you try to talk with them, one group will maybe open their mind and rethink their actions or what they have done. But the other group, they will not. And that's the evil kind, the more evil kind of the discriminator. Have you the courage to look yourself in the mirror and say, The thing I have done are terrible, but now I make my I make an excuse for it. I apologize for the way of living. Stop making excuses. It is not a problem that you make a mistake in your life. The more problematic thing is not what we want to see your errors. Make a plea, acknowledge for the way you are living, and move forward. I say that it is evil that people say that it is okay. So, uh, eat other animals because humans don't need to survive. I've used that in the time that argument that there are being hundreds and hundreds of vegans and vegetarians that do not live on a meat diet. But he blamed the passive aggressive part on me. And you do not know to me. I don't respect violent traditions. Meat, dairy, and egg eating or asking for vegan respect is just like pedophiles asking respect from people who don't abuse children. Meat, dairy, and egg eating or asking for respect is just like rapists asking for respect for their choice to molest women. Meat eaters asking for vegan respect is just like cannibals asking respect from people who don't eat human animals. It don't work this way. Make you excuse a push for the way you have lived. Make a plea and move a vox. A wolf. It's not hard to be vegan, serious. It only seems hard because people are so comforted to uh, don't give a fuck about anything. Be a selfish little consumer. But if you actually try, you find out that there will be many things you still can eat. You can still eat beans, lentils, legumes, tofu. Tofu is a substance that has a similar taste like um, chicken, chicken flesh. If you are united with the same sauces, you don't can taste the difference. And all vitamins and minerals for the people that are afraid for that come from 
Plant products, stems from all vitamins, all the minerals come from. They don't come from animal products. And vitamin B12 is one of bacteria that naturally live in the mouth and intestines of all animals. That's where all animals on this planet get the vitamin B12 from. Not from animals. Animals also be injected with vitamin B12 in this time and age. So you can take a vitamin B12 injection or you can eat some dirt on the ground that also have vitamin B12. Because vitamin B12 also come in the waterway. At least if the waterway is not toxicated by animal agriculture. And all the, all the antibiotics that the animals eat and that are, come in the waterway because animals shit a lot. Awaken humanity, awaken humanity. Injustice anywhere. There's a threat to justice everywhere Injustice anywhere There's a threat to justice everywhere Peace begins on the day No day for you Are having no rights To choose and pick Which kind of discrimination you like or not That is injustice That's a violation then you are not one good person. Good people don't talk about morality, peace, compassion, and they are actually giving peace. And cause the least amount of harm possible on this planet. The only thing I ask you, to let the animals alone, stop consuming animal products, eat beans, land of the coons, eat fruits, but let the animals alone. It is 2070. Give it up! It is not funny. It is not cute because animals are suffering because of people like you. And you can be the solution to their suffering if you are stopping their suffering. You can do it one, two, three times a day. You can stop the rapes that have been happening to animals. Not to all, but at least to the ones that you abuse any day. For your food choices. You do the work not yourself. But you are responsible. Supply and demand. In the country where I live. Small country. They murder something like 150 million animals in a year to satisfy their meat, dairy, neck and addiction. It's a conservative estimate. Peace begins on the dinner table by what you eat on a daily basis. You are or do not serve no respect because you are a human. You deserve respect because you are a person of fire. Peace.
passion don't mean anything. It only means something if you practice this yourself. But any day. Check my recipe videos for more vegan inspiration on my other channel. Awaken. Make the connection. If you are against uh, the dog rituals in China, you have equal to be opposed to the bill of the murdering of billions and billions of innocent living beings any year that are being executed for something apathetic as a burger. Compassion is not something you talk about. It is something that you actually give. Animal agriculture is responsible for 51% of the greenhouse gas emissions that is something like um, 30.5 um, 30, um, like 32.5 um, billion tons of uh, carbon dioxide into the atmosphere if I say even if I talk about the rainforest that are greatly cut mainly because of cattle ranching um, small agriculture um, what's being small agricultures mainly things like soy or corn uh, this was large-scale agriculture I mean that's a lot of mice koi uh, corn uh, rice that's kind of stuff lots of animals uh, produce a lot of shit something like um, 100 or 5,000 uh, yeah, 500,000 um, ton of shit of feces um, and it's two seconds that create ocean dead zones it's extremely toxic for the environment in contrary with uh, Plant products how don't produce feces and also don't produce create ocean dead cells. With with can't you see it? When he is the one that pours his lifestyle on innocent living beings, and his lifestyle force it that uh, children in Africa are dying from starvation. Any two seconds. One child star from Stayer Fashion. His choice is the reason that we are can have in the yeah the choice like people of people like him are being the reason that we in the two in the year two thousand and forty six we can have no rainforest at all. Almost 50% of all for animal feed is a set aside for animal feed. And there's a conservative estimate.
would I, would I even use if I, if I use some of the health benefits? Have you the courage? Have you the decency to make a plea and move forward? A human being sees himself as something separate from the rest. A kind of an optional illusion of their consciousness, I say this is. This illusion creates a kind of matrix in where Humans can be arrogant, cunts to their victims. Peace. Father. Do you know what that means? Animals don't want to be your victim. It is not about me or about you. It is about living, innocent living beings who have nothing harmed you ever, once in your whole life. Stop being a passive aggressive. Talk nice guy. You can still be a good talk nice guy, but then you have to be uh, still uh, stopping consuming animal products. Stop playing lip service to all the injustice of the world. Stop playing lip service to uh, all the problems of the world. Stop break you blind us away, father. Why? Break you blinders away. I am not a problem here. My actions defend innocent living animals. My position defends people in Africa that die from starvation any two seconds because of people like you who choose to eat meat, dairy and eggs. How of the arrogant kings and queens mindset and belief that they have a choice to let children in Africa die from starvation because they want to eat meat, dairy and eggs. Because they want to uh, wear skin clothing. Because they want to uh, to believe that they are moral, that they are superior to all their animals. When in reality in no way one exploiter is more special than the victim. In, in reality, that you can exploit somebody and you do it, make you worse than if you can do it, but you don't do it. Take a reality pill. I want to give you the red pill out of the matrix.